I actually grew up next to a slum, and a lot of my peers, people that grew up with, couldn't get out of that situation. And so the poor life sucked them up. A lot of them have died out of AIDS, a lot of them don't really have a life. I feel that people like myself who've come out of a situation like that need to give back to them so that they can see that there's a light at the end of the tunnel. They can value themselves, therefore they can value life. They know that if they stay alive, then there is something good that will come out of it. There's one guy who used to live in the slums and he's made it. They look at the Kenyan musicians and they see these are, these are superstars. So they can actually see the bridge which can carry them to that stage. And this guy is telling them, this is how I did it. Take care of yourself, protect yourself if you have to do this. So definitely it's a very powerful tool to communicate that message to them. So I think if you can use that power to talk to people, maybe change their ways or not, Listen to it, maybe somebody else will change. Yeah, so it's me and the track fine. I believe, me being an artist, one, I'm a role model, and I need to do something constructive. Even in my family, I've dealt with AIDS. Um, we had an auntie who was HIV positive, and she just found out about it, and she passed a week later. She didn't even know, she, she just gave up. So it's, it's, it's something that I feel really it's important for me to pass this kind of message. That you know what, you need to be safe. Best of all, you need to know your status so that you can live positively, whether you have it or not. by the bell, a divine honor and call. Now I quest every thirsty man in the desert. With these holy words of wisdom, I'm walking through like Moses, taking Israelites to their promised land. Is how we do it. Yeah. yeah. Hip hop came like a, a remedy to the medicine. To not only the girl youth, but to everyone who is positive. This music is real, this music is real, and that's when we go into it. And when we go into it, we found that, oh man, it's not a joke. It's an it's independent expression of how you think, how you feel, how you live your life, how you go through it, and what you think of your life, visualize it, what you want it to be like. And when you bring that to the people, it's like, man, you're dreaming, man. This chain can be. Kufanya vichwa zifiatu, poteza vyatu, kukeza watu, kwa kazi.